So Yamaha have announced their new keyboard will be called Genos. We know this because they've just released what they call a reveal trailer, which if you haven't seen, should be playing right now for you. As you can see, uh, there is a picture of a keyboard there, but we can't tell much about it. It might just be there for illustrative purposes, but it's official. Yamaha have now confirmed it. There's a new keyboard and it's to be called Genos. Now we still know nothing official, it's all just rumours, but nothing official has been said about any features uh, or indeed the price that this keyboard will be. But we're going to know more soon because on Yamaha's website there are more reveal videos coming. The next one's actually coming uh, on the 15th of September, which is tomorrow. Uh, the one after that's going to be, as you can see, on the 22nd and the 29th of September. So. Um, I know it's difficult waiting, but there's going to be hopefully some uh, decent meat to these videos telling us more about the features very, very soon. Now, a lot of people have been asking us what we hope for the keyboard. Of course, there's been so much speculation about what uh, the Genos keyboard will do, what features it will have. And for me, I think the main thing is I like people that uh, have been playing Tyros keyboards or playing PSR keyboards to be able to transfer to Genos relatively easily. Uh, that's to say all the buttons will be more or less in the same place and the whole operating system will be quite similar. So um, I wouldn't want anyone to fear changing from a Tyros onto a Genos. That's the first thing I hope for. The second thing I hope for is I would like it to be very very easy for people to share their settings online. Now what do I mean by that? Now on Tyros 5 if you had an iPad, there's a very good app called Repertoire. David did a really nice video on this, by the way, which you can see. I'll put the link up here so you can watch it. Now, what the Repertoire app did was it allowed you to take your best settings and put them on the internet for other people to use. Now, everyone that owned a Tyros 5 around the world could do this as well. So, what it meant was people around the world could put up their very best settings for any songs or any registrations and you could download it and put it on your own Tyros. I thought it was a really great way to bring the community of Tyros players around the world together and have them share their settings. Now on Genos I think it would be absolutely wonderful if with just a few touches of the buttons, because it was quite a complicated thing on Tyros, but on Genos I hope it will be as easy as da 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 to be able to go online and choose settings that other people have shared and that have been ranked in order of you know how good they are and put it straight on your Genos keyboard. I think that would be a really wonderful thing to do to bring the whole worldwide community of uh, Genos players together. I might be dreaming a little bit with that one but uh, I think that would be a really exciting feature to have. Now I know a lot of people have expressed a, a little bit of a fear um, about having a touch screen on Genos. Uh, we don't know whether it will or it won't, but uh, I don't think it's necessarily something to fear. If you go by previous Yamaha models, like the Clavinova, the CVPs, they had touch screen on them, but they still kept all the buttons as well. Um, CVP Clavinovas, the, the screen was very big on them, and if you wanted to use touch screen you could, and it was very straightforward and easy. But for those folks that prefer the tactile feel of buttons, it had that option as well. So. I hope Genos will give us both because touchscreen can work very well sometimes but I hope the buttons will be there as well. We'll have to wait and see. On the subject of uh, touchscreens and the CVP Clavinovas, for those of you that know the model, there's a really great feature um, using touchscreen called Piano Room where it was so clear that you could watch what was happening. You could, for example, load up a piano to play, um, change the, the place you were playing in, like the uh, cathedral where it was very echoey or a stage where it wasn't so much so and uh, you could then press a button and a band would join in as well and uh, it would appear and different styles of bands would appear but it was so clear about uh, what you were doing on the screen uh, there was no fiddling with buttons I really like that feature and if that's incorporated on Genos I'll be really really pleased but I think the main thing that I hope for and of course I'm sure many people are hoping for is the quality of sound on Genos I hope will be a big big step forward I hope it's going to be a next generation keyboard if you like I hope the sound quality is going to be as realistic as we've ever heard and you'll be able to get a real true live performance through playing it. Yamaha 
no doubt they're leading the world with this kind of technology. I hope with Genos we're going to be blown away with the quality of the sound. Now just a reminder, we have a Yamaha Genos launch day on November the 9th in a hotel near to our shop here in Banbury, uh, only three miles out of town but very easy to get to off the M40 motorway, Roxton House Hotel it's called. We've got two shows on November the 9th, one at 2.30, one at 7.30. I have to say places are filling up very fast so if you want to come along to it then do let us know by ringing the phone number on the screen or you can book your ticket. It's free to come to by the way, you can book your ticket online as well. So it's going to be a great show, Yamaha's demonstrators will be there, Ian House will be there to demonstrate the Genos keyboard and we'll finally get to hear what this keyboard sounds like. And another note for your diary is a Tyros Club is coming back to our store here in Banbury 28th of September, it's Thursday 28th of September 11 o'clock, um, everyone's welcome to come down free of charge, that's Tyros Club back here in the store this month. And just a reminder, if you want to pre-order a Genos keyboard, we are taking pre-orders already. If you want to avoid the backlog when they first get released, you can place a deposit and we'll reserve one for you. Now, if it turns out that uh, when the keyboard's revealed, you don't like it or you want to change your mind, full refunds, of course, will be offered. But if you want to get your name on the list and reserve one, we have that offer going now. Now, you can either do it by ringing us up and saying, please, can you put my name on the list? or you can do it online as well. So that's if you want to pre-order a Genos, make sure you get one of the first ones, then do let us know and we'll put your name on one. So thanks for watching. It's pretty exciting news, isn't it? Uh, this is the place to stay tuned to to find out more. Uh, Yamaha are going to be releasing these trailers and we'll be covering them comprehensively here on the Tyros Tipsters. You can see us on Facebook, also on YouTube or on our website. And if you have any questions, just get in touch and ask. We're as excited as you are about what the Genos keyboard's going to bring us. See you again soon.